well, having read your comments yesterday, clear lots of you uh, very happy with the appointment of Jacob Rees-Mogg as the new Brexit Opportunities Minister. And really, he is going to have to make sure that the government is maximising those Brexit opportunities. But Mogg is very independently minded. Uh, that, I think, is why he does have quite a few supporters. And it's clear now, of course, that net zero has become a bit of a green religion for some. What really matters, of course, is energy security, uh, energy independence, cheaper energy. And we've seen the government, it seems, coming around to this. We saw an intervention from Rishi Sunak, uh, six North Sea oil and gas fields to get the go-ahead. We've seen Boris Johnson reportedly tell his cabinet, we're going to keep drilling for North Sea oil during the, what's described as the net zero transition. And the fossil fuels remain in the energy mix. What I think is interesting here is this intervention from Rees-Mogg reportedly uh, urging the cabinet, urging the prime minister to back fracking, suggesting there should be a return to fracking to increase Britain's energy independence. And I know uh, some people perhaps not in favour of that, but I think what we're going to see, especially with surging bills, this isn't going to be a matter of if we should do it. It's going to be a matter of can we afford not to do it in reality as energy bills uh, continue to surge. Now, apparently this was rejected, this suggestion by Boris Johnson. But I just want to show you, for instance, this article from 2015 to show you the sort of impact this had in the US. Uh, the US fracking revolution causing natural gas prices to drop 47% compared to what they would have been prior to 2013. And gas bills dropped $13 billion per year from 2007 to 2013 as a result of increased fracking. So look, Mog mentioning this here, I think this is going to be a real talking point moving forward in terms of energy security and cheaper energy. Let me know what you make of this Mog intervention in favour of increased energy independence. As ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more. So please do give this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, thanks so much for watching.